everyone welcome to another deco easy video this is the channel of me and my mother-in-law jenny thank you for stopping by and we hope you have a good time today are you ready let's go because you can start crafting now hey everyone diane here with a brand new diy um today we're going to work with these two trays they are now a little bit of gold sand is more the yeah i think sand is a better name and they were officially, here you can see it, grey. Now I'm going to give them a flip and I want to put them into one DIY. And therefore we also need coarse Jenga blocks. These are from Action. See we have a shop with the, the Dollar Tree we done here in the Netherlands. And these two come from a garden center that Jen and I visit often near the German border. And they have so many products for yeah, well, not so much money, actually. I don't know, I really, I don't know how much I paid for these anymore because I have them over a year and I'm not using them in my interior. I just used them once. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be nice to give them some sort of second life. Um, so first open up this package with the scissors and then there will be a big plastic bag filled up with those Jenga blocks. If it wants to open, this is weird. Normally it slices through like the knife will slice through the peanut butter. There it goes. Plastic. And then we have some more plastic inside. They always pack it in those big plastic like this. I always find this looks so satisfying to watch. Hope you do too. Now, there is an opening already on the top, so we can easily tear it apart. Yeah, it already ripped. And that's a good thing. Then I'm going to pull them down here. And then I will explain the idea to you. Okay, let's put these away. I will explain the idea to you. The idea is that we make some sort of harmonica thing like this, then stack upon each other. You see? Oh, I did it wrong. This way, I believe. Hmm, I just had figured that out. What did I do wrong? Okay, I had it figured out before I started filming, and now I forgot. Let me hold on a few seconds, I'm going to search out how I had it in mind, and then I will show you what the idea was. I just messed up. Sorry. Okay, back on track. You just make squares, a lot of squares, and make sure that you do it like this. So not like that, like this, so it gets a real square. And once that is glued together, you just slice it on top of each other, or maybe a little bit more this way. So it will stack. Let me show you with one more extra. So it will stack upon each other like some sort of letter idea. You see? So that is what I'm going to do now. Uh, I will use the hot glue gun for these four small things. Uh, or maybe just use wood glue because these things are going to some sort of hang in it. And these are kind of heavy. So maybe the wood glue is a better option. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and I will see how many of these things I need. Um, because I want to make some sort of let them hang in here. And then this is too close. If you're putting it so close together, you can't see what's inside. So I suggest something like this. But we need more. Okay, enough talking. I'm going to go out the glue and then I'm going to make squares. And by the way, if you want to know, this is the wood glue that Jenny and I use, also from Action. 
and it worked pretty easy. Um, yeah, let's grab some blocks here. Just a small dot of glue is enough, doesn't have to be that much. Just pressing it like that. Um, let's see here. Here as well. And then just press it here. Don't know, it seems a little bit here on the other edge. And then you can make your square that way. So this will do. Now let this dry. Luckily it's warm here uh, inside this room. The temperature is 27 degrees. I don't know how many Fahrenheit that is. I'm going to look it up for you in the next shot. I think I will reveal it. Um, so hopefully the glue dries pretty quickly, but we'll see. everything together and uh, yeah some of them are already drying out or the glue is drying so first we're going to push them a little bit to see if they're not glued to the uh, crafting mat which sometimes happens and the quicker you release it the easier it is to get them off in the end but I think we're there I'm going to let this dry and the idea is that I make two pillars of these squares, putting them on the side and pulling, uh, putting those two uh, trays here in the center. So you can get some sort of standard um, with them with two side parts and then in the center you see these two here. Now, um, let me see if the construction can hold that. And what I also want to know is how many of these blocks do I need before I reach the other side? I think at least three, but we might need four. Let me turn it over to see if four will do, or three will do. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but I don't think so. No, we need more. No big deal. And I don't know what we need. First, we'll let this dry and then we'll see further. All these, oh, now they're stuck together. <laughs> All these squares are done. And uh, now I'd like to, as you can see here, I'd like to assemble them so it get, will be one big roll. You know what I mean? Um, how can we do that the best way? I'm not sure. Let's see how long they are. If we only put the joints upon the crafting mat. Will that be enough or no, it starts tumbling over, I think. Let's see. And they start to go sideways. Let's put them more like that. To be honest, I just think that the crafting mat isn't long enough that it will tumble over. Yeah, I think we'll use the hot glue gun for this job because then it's secured immediately. Um, or let me see if I have another crafting mat so I can put two together. Hopefully that will be enough. Here is one test. Um, 
actually is easy to make if you have a few simple tricks which I want to show you now with a new set of blocks that will be for the other side uh, I have the glue gun here also an extra glue stick is it already necessary to put it in no not really it will fall out then okay you take the block and lay it down so that this block here stops there so not not like this but just do it like this because in this way you can extend the next block here like this you see what i mean now you're extending this block for the other block and by doing that you know exactly where you have to glue so that it looks like one big block that's what i'm going to show you now use glue Oh, there was an air bubble. Now press it together like you have one long block there. Hold it so the glue gets stiff. There it is. Now, in the next one, you're doing the same trick. Do it like this. Grab the glue gun. always blow because this thing is on for quite a while then it might get super hot there it is and by this you're continuing towards the last piece that you have to glue and then you're done um yes this side here And that's it actually then you'll have one big block number one and up here we have number two and there they are now this will be something we have to pay attention to because every set of those jenga blocks always contains one block with this text so make sure that we glue enough Okay, what we're going to do next, I think I'll start off, oh, put this one out, otherwise it's going to start leaking, we don't want that to happen. Uh, I think I'm going to start out with painting these trays. I'm going to make them white, it's going to be some sort of display, maybe you can call it an organizer. Um, and when they're white, we start UXing, but that is the ne next step, so I'm going to lay this here grab some brushes and some white paint and then we can start painting away okay painting time just to have plain white paint here from the construction store a brush and of course the tray i promised to tell you how warm it is inside uh it was 26 degrees celsius now it's 29 degrees celsius here in the meantime which is the same as 84 degrees fahrenheit just looked it up on the internet and uh, yeah, hopefully then the paint dries quicker. Where shall we start? I think just here on the inside. Push a lot here into those gaps. You can always grab a, bar a brush out more and make it neat in the end. We might need several layers, we'll see how it turns out. Or maybe a smaller brush to get here in between. trays are drying I applied two layers of paint because one wasn't covering enough now it's time to grab again the be wax 
And I always use the same DIY brush because DIY really ruins your brush. Once you've used it, you can't get it off. So always just use the same brush and uh, that works great. Now, I have these layers here. Um, what is smart? I think I just lay one away. I have two extra blocks because this thing is longer than my crafting mat. And now I can just go back and forth a little bit. But that first will be necessary, I think. Okay, um, let me lay it where you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm doing it wrong right now because it has to be in the front, not in the back. This beeswax, by the way, comes from the drugstore. But I think you can get it elsewhere too. Okay, I just dabbed it in. Now, what I prefer always dabbing off in the lid because then you get you can get rid of the excess beeswax. Um, let me show you the difference by just making one the block darker than the rest. Doesn't have to be that super neat. You can just rub. And that is the color difference. Now, of course, you start here in the center part. Make sure that there is beeswax all over the place. Now you can work your way out to the rest of the wood. Like so. If you some parts might get lighter, then I just suggest having dabbing on some extra beeswax. That might help. Doesn't say that it always helps, but it might help. I'm going to do the rest of this and uh, then this has to dry pretty long. I hope that it dries quick here because it's still warm here. Um, but if it's a little bit colder in your home, then I suggest wait a little bit longer. Okay, all of the Rex side parts are dry. Now I want to make the hang up system where you can lay the tray in. So something like this will happen then. Um, and therefore I'll be using the wood glue here. What I want to do is use wood glue, let it dry a little bit before you apply it, and then I'm going to push it one here on top, then leave one open, then I'm going to do the second one here. So it lifts the trays a little bit above the ground, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other parts as well. So just add some wood glue to the blocks, then we'll let it dry for a few minutes. And then we can put it on the rack, and then I'll be back when that is done. Good, glue part is done. Now it is time to add some more glue to these parts here, because then we can place a tray in. So just here in the center, this part will be glue. Uh, if you want to put them on or off uh, each other, then I suggest don't glue this, but glue something at the feet here in the center. So they're still connected, you know, like this, uh, blocks like this. So these uh, side parts are still connected, but uh, then you can replace the trays. So that's what I'm going to do. Add wood glow glue up here. And yeah, the best thing that you can do is just use a plank or something to hold this together because this might, oh, a plank, um, how do you call that, um, some sort of pinch thing, uh, glue holder, I don't know <laughs> if what is the right word for that, I'm sorry. And you will think if you have glued something, then you can, uh, you know, clamp that together for a few hours, maybe days if necessary. Um, that might be useful here. So I'm going to grab that and when it's dry, I'll glue the, the, the other side here on the same side, uh, the same way as well, but then with the thing here. Okay, the glue must be dry by now. Carefully, yeah, now the thing is that it's too long. Look, this is what we have, but it, it still needs to be able to stand up. And that is a good thing. Idea was to place blocks on both sides to stabilize the whole thing. 
So something like this. Now, if we've done it, we'll be able to stand up by itself. Um, yeah, I don't want to do well, maybe maybe two is enough because then it still can rock back or forth. Maybe we have to do. Yeah, is this an idea? Putting one on the front and one on the back. Yeah, that might be an idea as well. Um, let me first try if this will do, because yeah, I can't test it because it isn't glued yet. Thing is moving back and forth very, very much. Um, but let me try that if it's possible. If not, then I will have to find another solution. Maybe we can uh, do something like this. Some sort of bridge idea. Oh, then it's too short, of course. Um... Maybe then we're putting it uh, like that. This might help. But first let me try this option. I want to see if that works. Uh, oh, there it goes. Ooh. Did you see that? <laughs> I have to re-glue that part. Um, that's a weak point. First let me see if this works. And I'm carefully going to re-glue this part. Yep. That might happen on your DIY. Good. Thing has been re-glued. It's drying there. Uh, I have an idea to make those standing parts on the bottom section. I'll just use squares made of what? So what we'll do, put glue here, there, there, and here too. And then that is what a crafting mat is used for. Oh, don't have to touch that. Wipe it off on another block. And I'm just carefully going to press down, make sure that they are squares. Do this one as well. Now, hold this, going to fold it underneath. Of course, there's always too much glue. We'll wipe that away later. Yes, okay, I will get myself a brush to get this fixed. No worries. Um, then let, letting this dry, make the same thing again, and then I can put the foot in like that so it rests here but you still have some kind of modern standard for your DIY. Here are these two blocks. i um, going to paint them later but for now we have to let them dry. Okay these things are almost there the only thing that I'm doubting about is that they were this high but I wonder if that is high enough to support this whole thing. So let me check. Well, actually, it's pretty hard to check because I didn't glue the two top sections. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. Am I? No, of course not. This is the same. What if I would do this instead of, look, making... No, nah, it's okay. I think this is okay. Yeah. If we do it this way, then this thing stands much more firmly than it used to do. Good, that was what we wanted. Um, yeah, I think we're going to paint these sections. What if I... I'm just curious, what if I add two extra blocks here underneath? Will that be stronger? No, it doesn't really matter. Okay, putting this away again. I'm going to paint these black, therefore we have blackboard paint that Jenny and I use really often for almost all her DIYs. It comes from the action and uh, yeah, one can cost I think about five euros, but uh, you don't need that much paint of it because the coverage is really good. Okay, let's first start here on the inside. Most of the times we only need one layer of this stuff. We've been trying other paints, but none of them covered it up 
as good as these did. Just going to paint the things black, let it dry, now we can continue gluing everything together. That's what we're going to do. Okay, glue gun is ready. Those blocks are too. I'm going to test it without gluing it together. It should be able to stand down. Really, it just worked. Look, now I'm not holding anything. It's standing down. So I'm going to glue it uh, with the hot glue gun because it needs to be done quickly. And uh, yeah, just want to make sure that everything is aligned and well. And it's still standing. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do try to do real quick gluing thing. First on one side. Just want to do some extra. Try to push some glue underneath. And if you're thinking why so much glue i'm going to paint it afterwards so you're not going to see it anymore now i'm going to hold it to let it dry and uh, do the same thing on the other side just slightly paint the black uh, or the white paint parts and then uh, yeah hope it will stand down now this thing stands by itself it might not be perfectly straight, but I'm really happy with the result, how cool this became. Time to take a small brush and cover up any visible glue parts, just with black. And here's the final result of today. Just a really big, yeah, organizer, where you can really put in everything. It's uh, strong enough to carry all this stuff. And even underneath here, you can put something in. So, let us know what you think of this DIY. We hope you like it. Well, that was it for today. We hope you had a good time with us today. And we want to thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and we hope to see you back again next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.